Today we're going to be looking at how to properly install and uninstall GPU drivers because it turns out a lot of people aren't aware when and how to do it properly and this is a really important process that every PC owner should be aware of because if not done occasionally and correctly your graphics card might not deliver optimal performance, you may experience bugs, crashes and so on. This applies to a lot of situations. For example, if you decided to upgrade your GPU, even if it's from the same brand, maybe you felt like switching from one brand to the other, just like I did a little over a year ago by moving to AMD from Nvidia, perhaps you feel like your card is underperforming. And even if you want to do something as simple as updating your drivers, it is always a good idea to make a clean install rather than updating through your card software. You can experience driver issues regardless of whether you're rocking Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. And before you start claiming that this or that company is trash, which is something I see a lot in the comment section of my videos, just make sure that the culprit isn't you by installing your drivers the right way. So there are a couple of ways you can uninstall your drivers. The first one, which is also the best method is by using display driver uninstaller. It is a proven method that completely uninstalls your drivers without leaving anything behind. The second method, which I'm told works as fine is by checking the perform a clean installation or factory reset checkbox in the case of AMD right when installing your drivers, which is an option every GPU manufacturer has, yet I would still recommend using DDU. Do not try uninstalling through device manager or the app list, and if you have friends who like to do that, make sure to send them this video. Before we begin, you want to make sure to disable any GPU or even CPU overclocks for now and enable them one by one with a stress test only after the driver installation process. Since from my experience, different driver versions can behave differently with overclocks. Doing this will save you plenty of time. Previously, when I updated the drivers with everything overclocked, the system was slightly unstable, which made me think it was the driver, but it turned out it was my CPU overclock that wasn't entirely stable, so I had to bump up the voltage a tiny bit, after which I had no issues. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is download the latest drivers for your particular GPU and the display driver uninstaller software. You can find the links for everything below. In my case, I have an RX 6800, so I'm going to install the Adrenaline setup from AMD's website. Next, you want to enable safe mode and restart your PC. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your PC doesn't get stuck in black screen when trying to boot into safe mode. One way you can learn that you won't be stuck staring at a blank screen for the rest of your life is by making a regular restart and checking if you're getting the BIOS splash screen. You can also try entering the BIOS for good measure. If everything shows up, great, you can safely boot into safe mode. If not, then you need to find a way to get into BIOS and try switching the BIOS mode from UEFI to CSM, and there are a couple of ways you can do that. If your CPU has integrated graphics, you can plug your monitor's cable into your motherboard and see if you can enter the BIOS. In case you don't have integrated graphics, you can also borrow a graphics card from a friend, preferably of the same manufacturer, and try accessing the BIOS that way. I believe this black screen issue usually occurs when you pair an old GPU with a modern system, so make sure the graphics card that you're borrowing is more recent. Once we're done with that, let's boot into safe mode, which you can do by holding the shift key and clicking the restart button. From there, click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, hit restart, and once you get to this point, just select enable safe mode. By the way, you can also boot into safe mode through msconfig, but for the sake of simplicity, we're going to stick with the first method. 
Okay, so now that we are in safe mode, let's extract and open up DDU. And the first thing we want to do is go to options and make sure that remove physics and prevent downloads of drivers from Windows are selected. At this point, I also prefer to disconnect the Ethernet cable for good measure up until I'm done installing the drivers. Next, select the device type as GPU and make sure your current brand is selected. Now, if you see two or more GPU models in this area, it means that you used those cards in your system previously and you want to uninstall drivers for every single brand one by one before proceeding. Next, if you're going to install a new graphics card, click on clean and shut down. And if you're going to keep the same GPU and only want to uninstall your old drivers to install new ones, click on clean and restart. Since I'm keeping the same GPU, I'm going to click on clean and restart, though later in the day I will be swapping my RX 6800 to test the RTX 3080 that I recently got, and when I do that I'm going to select clean and shut down. I got multiple videos coming in hot with this card, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested. Once we get back to the desktop in normal mode, we can start installing the drivers. Open up the driver setup that you downloaded in the additional or custom options, make sure to check factory reset if you can, and begin the installation process. After the installation is done, make sure to uncheck whatever you don't need, restart your PC, and that's basically it. It might prompt you to restart again after you've already restarted, so do it again just in case. What's left now is to check if your refresh rate is correct, open up a couple of intensive games, max out the settings and play for a bit to make sure the driver version that you downloaded is stable. After that, you can set up your GPU software. For the most part, there is not much you need to tweak. It's mostly up to personal preference and you're done. Additionally, you can set a fan curve for your GPU since out of the box the fans do not tend to spin up as much, which may result in your GPU overheating. If you're using an AMD GPU, you can do that in the tuning tab of the Adrenaline software, or if you have Intel or Nvidia, you can download MSI Afterburner and do the same thing there. Personally, I believe that this is also an important thing that is often overlooked. Like I mentioned previously, some driver versions can be problematic and you will definitely notice that either through stability or random bugs and glitches. For example, I had to roll back a couple of AMD driver versions due to instability within the last year, though I do update my drivers nearly every single time a new version comes out. I am sure this made some people think, oh wow, not surprising, just AMD issues, NVIDIA is so much more stable. Just so you know, NVIDIA had a faulty driver recently that caused flickering, artifacting, and crashing, so it's about time to quit being a fanboy. These things can happen every once in a while with each company, and in case of an unstable driver, just try your best to not go on Reddit to whine how company A or B is garbage, download and install a different version, see if it works, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Given you've done everything as shown in today's guide, you should have zero problems and your graphics card should perform optimally. Otherwise, you might have a faulty card or issues related to something else. Anyways, that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this guide helpful. Feel free to have a look at other videos on my channel. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see y'all in the next one.